What's up beautiful people and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Crystal and this is Bond Book Reviews. And just a heads up, if you start hearing some random sounds, there's currently a hailstorm happening outside and I need to film this now. So I need to try and do it between the hail falling down. So if you randomly hear lightning or see extra flashing lights, that's what it is. Case in point. <laughs> So today, as you can tell by the time of the month and the title, it is time for another round of ping pong. If you don't know what ping pong is, it is my monthly TBR games that I play to choose my reads for the month. And we are starting to decide what books I'm gonna be reading in the month of June. Can we believe it's already June? Like it's gonna be June soon? My daughter's gonna be one in like 18 days. I just, I cannot, I, it is blowing my mind how quickly this year is going. So obviously before we jump into Rude. Obviously, before we jump into the throws, let's talk about how I did last month. And then um, I'll talk about a couple of books that I need to fit onto the um, prompts for this month. And then we'll dive into the throws. So last month, I failed. I mean, it's, it's fair assumption to say that that was going to happen. Uh, it was not very kind to me last month. If you haven't seen it, I'll have it linked for you so you can go check it out. My game was incredibly, incredibly cruel. I think I got every punishment prompt you could get and I ended up with like nine books in total. I read a lot of books, just not the ones I was meant to read, but yeah. Rude rain, go away. So in the month of June, uh, there are a couple books I need to continue because obviously I'm doing some read-alongs with different series. So I need to do Crown of Midnight and uh, Gravale, which are the next two books in the series that I'm doing for the read-along. The main problem is I haven't actually read Throne of Glass yet. So I also have to do Throne of Glass before I can pick up Crown of Midnight. I have, however, finished the fourth, third book in the series to do the fourth book next for the Modoran Chronicles. So these all need to be carried across. The next thing that I need to talk to you about is in the month of June, I am going to do exclusively ebooks. So my ebook list is getting out of hand, almost as bad as my physical shelves. So I did this last year as well, where I did an ebook only month, and I figure now's the time as any. So I am going to do ebooks only for the month of June, other than those few that I need to read physically because I'm part of read alongs. But all the other choices will be ebooks only. And of course, this month we need to carry across one of the punishments from last month, which is Anthony Throw, because I couldn't fulfill it last month because he wasn't here. I will be able to do that this month. So he will be coming out and doing a throw for us at some point. When that punishment is gonna be involved, I have no idea because he's working until a certain time. So it might be right near the end, but he will definitely do a throw for us during this month. Um, and if it means I have to do an extra book at the end, it means I have to do an extra book at the end. We're just gonna roll with it and see if I can pass. So let's dive on in to the throws. Okay, so let's do this. Um, as I mentioned, Anthony will be coming out and doing an Anthony throw at some point. He does go on lunch soon, so I might be able to do it. Otherwise, I'll just tag it on at the end. Um, obviously, I need to start with another punishment though, because I didn't read all of my books. So I have put all the punishments back in because we used all of them last time. Um, so let's hope I get something that doesn't completely just throw this on the same spiral that we did last month. Uh, we've got a kneeling through. Okay, that's the, the least worst of all of them. Um, so let's get our first throw in and hopefully get our first prompt of the month. Okay. Woohoo! Okay, so our first prompt of the month is less than 300 pages. Okay, so we're starting off kind of kind this month. So I will be reading a kinder book that is less than 300 pages. I have a couple in mind. I think I might use one of my KU books and then do it for a KU reading vlog because I'm due to release one of those soon. And we will replace that prompt with Pole. And it has a punishment on it, of course. All right, so I'm back to standing and we are gonna get prompt number two. I swear I haven't been practicing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it. Maybe it's just being kind to me this month. We got a romance with no punishments or rewards. That doesn't happen very often, so I will take it. And that is great for Kindle month because I have a lot of romance on my Kindle. And we will replace that prompt with standalone. And it does have a reward on it. It's just kind of half rubbed off. Okay, prompt number three. And we get our first miss. Try again for prompt number three. Oh, bounce, counts. I'll take it. All right, so prompt number three is different culture and it has a reward on it. I don't know if you can see that green dot there. So let's find out 
what my reward is going to be. As I said before, if you have any rewards or punishment ideas, feel free to drop them in the comments below because I'm always looking for new suggestions. Okay, my reward is mood read. Oh, love this. Uh, this pretty much means that for any of these prompts, I can completely ignore the prompt and read whatever I want and it still counts as fulfilling one of those prompts. I do not have to say what it is right now because it's mood read so I can do it at any point through the month. And we will replace that prompt with a 2020 release. All right, time for prompt number four. I'm not gonna speak because I would jinx myself. Uh, prompt number four is gifted with a punishment on it. Hmm, okay. So our punishment is, Fuck, not this one again. Backwards throw, guys. It's back to haunt us. <laughs> and we will replace that prompt with lowest rated. All right, our fifth and final prompt with a backwards throw. Oh, come on, that was so close. All right, we'll try again. <clears throat> So our miss is reset and I am still punished so I still have to go backwards and we are still trying for our fifth out of our six books. I hate this punishment. So our fifth prompt is gifted again, but no punishment. I don't know how it's in here twice, but I'm going to take it. Now, obviously with me picking Kindle only, gifted is going to be a little bit harder um, because that means I'm kind of limited to ARCs or eBooks that I've purchased from gift vouchers, which aren't many. I've kind of read all of those. Um, so I might have to use mood read for one of those gifted. And we'll see how we go. Okay, let's replace that prompt. Any, but it has a punishment on it. Okay, so we're back to front facing. We have one more ball. If I miss, I have to add an extra book. If not, then we've got our six books for the month. No pressure. And I realized that I've done all this without Anthony having a throw. Anthony, you in a meeting? Can you come out and do one throw, please? It's my final throw. If I miss, I have to add a book. If you get it in, you get my final prompt. So it's kind of fitting. Do I trust him with it? I trust him. He usually gets it straight in. Okay, so it's my sixth and final prompt and my fifth miss. So if you miss, I have to add an extra book to get it in It's my final book. Low pressure. Yeah, I know, that's what I said. And then I was like, crap, and I haven't got you to do the throw. So you're here now to do the throw and get me my final prompt and not miss, right? Good work, all right. You've got to stand back a little bit, by the way. I'm, as much as I would love you to stand back close, it's not really fair. Straight in or off the table? No, straight straight in. Don't you turn up doing trick shots right now. Just get it in any cup. Don't be mean. I haven't passed pick pong in like nine months. Just throw. Just, okay, I'm not even gonna watch. I'm, I'm just gonna listen for the sound. I do something shifty, just throw the ball. Not the sound I wanted to hear, Anthony. Do I throw again? You do! You keep throwing <laughs> until you get it in! So you keep going until you get one in. That does not count! That was a purpose miss! Stop! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold on, they don't count! Put in the comments below, do they count? Stop being the idiot for the camera! Alright, oh, cool. All two counts. Let's get back to work. <laughs> so my my oh this is okay I, i'm happy with this so my 
Sixth prompt is any, which means I can combine any with gifted because that was in the gifted cup, so they combine, but there is a punishment on it. But that means that I have five books in total because they combine for the six prompts. It'll make sense when I talk about what books I'm reading. All right, so let's find out what my punishment is first because we obviously start to get a seventh book now, thanks to Anthony. <laughs> Um, and we have kneeling through. I must have put it back in. That's right, we'll just take it. And we will replace that prompt with four plus star with a punishment on it and we are gonna shuffle the cups. Okay. We're now going for our final prompt, which is our seventh prompt, but our sixth book. That's eight books. <sighs> Wait, none of those count because I wasn't kneeling. None of those count because I wasn't kneeling. Hold on. <laughs> Let's try again with the actual punishment I meant to be doing. First miss. Second one goes in, we count it. <laughs> okay. And my final prompt is male author with neither a punishment nor a reward. Let's go sit down and talk about all books I'm going to be reading. <laughs> so in true crystal fashion, that was chaotic. So as I went to hit stop on my video, my, my entire thing just restarted itself. And then when I logged it back on, there was absolutely no film. I was so worried that I'd lost the entire thing. But it's here now. I have the footage. It's fine. So let's just talk about what books I'm going to be reading and hope that everything doesn't just disappear. <laughs> so first we got less than 300 pages. And for this one, I'm going to read No Exit um, by Taylor someone or other. This has been on my TBR list for way too long and I just never pick it up and I know I'm absolutely going to adore it. I'm really in a thriller mood right now. I've been really enjoying it. So I think I'm going to have a great time with it. So that's the first one that I'm going to do for under 300 pages. For romance, I am going to do A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. I know this book is going to break me. I've been putting it off and putting it off, but too many people have been reading it lately and it's been giving me serious FOMO. So that's what I'm going to do. For a different culture, I'm actually going to do Other Words for Home. And this also hits the Buzzwordathon prompt, which is Other for this month. So it kind of like gets two prompts in one, which I'm very, very excited for. Um, I don't know too much about this other than the fact that it is uh, follows a refugee little girl. Um, but I've heard really good things and I have the audiobook, so... We're going to go for it. Then we got Gifted, which I'm going to pop the mood read on. And most likely I'm going to count either one of these as my mood read. Then we got the Gifted and Any prompt, which I'm going to do the Gravale by Lynette Noni on because I need to get them all read anyways. And they pretty much were like free prompts to use. So I figured they were the best to use them for. And then last but not least, we have Male Author. And for this one, I'm actually going to do Love Stories by Trent Dalton. Uh, we've been talking in the office about Trent Dalton lately. Apparently he's got a new book coming out soon. Um, and I'm yet to read any by them. So I figured I may as well start with love stories. I have it on my Kindle, I have the audiobook, so why not? I've heard really good things from the people in my book club. So I'm just going to jump in blind to this one. I have no idea what it's about. I'm assuming it's a bunch of love stories from various different people because that's kind of how Trent writes. So we'll see. So there you have it. They're the books that I'm going to be reading for the month of June. He's hoping I can pass again so I can start with a reward next month because I'm getting sick of starting with punishments. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you have any punishment or reward ideas, drop them in the comments down below. Let me know what you're reading in the month of June. Uh, and also it is Addie's birthday in June. Her wish list is down below if you would like to get her anything. Absolutely no um, pressure, but people have asked me before. So I'll just let you know that's where it is. Her book wish list is down there. Um, if you have nothing to say in the comments, but you just kind of like want to let me know that you're here, you can drop a man emoji in the comment down below for the male author prompt. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend and happy reading. Bye.